Hey, what's up, Paul Bowlers? Well, it's your boy Serrano. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Google Pixel Fold because it did get the April 5th update. And I wanted to show you some of the things that actually have improved overall with this device. And I definitely like it. I've been rocking my Poetic case right here, which is basically giving this device a lot of protection. And basically you get your mat back, you get your camera cut out right here on the back with the metal material. Uh, it doesn't it's not too much prone to scratches as there are a few but not too many on there So it does hold up well when it comes to the materials on the back that they use but it, you can see a few scratches on there You do get your you know glossy uh, Frame which is actually like a nice weight to this device overall it gives it some really premium feel to it Definitely think the feel to this device is nice. You get your side mount of fingerprint it's, um, on the side of the device so you know they opted out of the in display fingerprint so you know it does give you a side mounted fingerprint so most foldable devices don't have like in display fingerprints which is surprising I'm, I'm kind of surprised that they don't go with that but anyway let's go into the software of this device but I wanted to show you the battery life that I've been getting on here and you can see I'm at 34% right now and I have six hours, seven hours of screen on time that I've been using with this device, which is really crazy. So I just wanted to show you that. You also do get a really large amount of storage on here. Going down to the, you know, about device. If I go into um, the system, you can see it's April 5th security right there. So we're definitely getting that. And then if you go into security updates, you can see it's the April 5th. So I just updated it right before this video. And I was playing a game on here because I wanted to check it out to see the NBA 2K24 new game. And it's actually really solid. It works very well on my um, BSP D8 that I'm, I wanted to try out so I could show you how well that game performs on here. So um, pretty much it's rocking that sensor G2. You know, obviously the G3 is out with the Pixel 8. Um, so it is missing a few AI features. I kind of wish that they did include it on here, but you know, they decided not to give it that uh, tap to search either. So, and I'm using the Gemini search app. So when I long press the button right here, I do get the search option right there but I wanted to show you some of the things that did actually change about the update real quick before I dive into some of the performance and if you go into the uh, Google website right here for the support it basically tells you that everything that you need to know it's starting out with the 5a 5g all the way down to the 8 pro and then it's gonna basically tell you that you get fixed biometrics fixed camera stability fix black halo artifacts from appearing in certain conditions and it fixes um, issues where a users are unable to re-expose image after tapping anywhere on the finder and then so those are the main features but it also does include a couple of um, you know like other features right here in this article and I'll, I'll shout out the you know maker of this article so Zach Doffman over at Forbes was basically saying that, um, let me get out of this, that you will get um, protection from serious threats. And then it's basically saying that the threats are coming from, an, from the AKA spyware vendors. And so 35 of the 72 known wild zero delay exploits impacting its overall products over the last 10 years can be attributed to spy vendors. But like, you know, this update will basically block deal, like generally deal with that issue or whatever. So that's kind of cool that it is working that out. But, you know, overall, I could definitely say that when it comes to performance, this thing is nice. And if you go into the settings right here and you can check out the uh, overall settings right here on the left and then you get the other option, the full screen right here on the right. So I like how they give you that but if you actually put it in this orientation you get the full screen so I, I do like that too because you could flip it either way and uh, it does that for every single app so if you're watching YouTube right here you can see you can also 
put it tabletop mode, which I like to do a lot of the times when I'm using it. I put it in the tabletop mode and then I watch videos. You get your controls down here and then it cuts the screen in half, but you still get the controls and everything. And then you can also control the um, thing right down Good here. Joke. That is not true. I didn't show up with one round. I can jack off, nigga. I am not you. They already know what I would do to this nigga. So you can see right here, that's how you would actually get to your um, videos. It, it gives you like a really nice um, experience here. So you can mess around with the keyboard if you wanted to. Um, you can go in the comment section, read those right down here on the other screen. And then make a comment with the full keyboard right there. So I really like the intuitiveness about this device. Um, but they didn't really fix that many things when it came to this update except for the vulnerabilities and then also some of the camera issues, you know, with the black um, thing that I was talking about. But let's go into the new 2K, NBA 2K My Team because this game was bananas when I was playing it and I have to actually put my case on while I'm playing it because the, the power button gets... Um, you know like affected like when i'm using it like it's, it hits the power button for some reason so let me go ahead and log in to my um, gaming account and i like this game because you could use it for um xbox and everything i also have the double tap to to turn off your camera and turn it back on so let's go ahead the fingerprint works really fast I'm gonna go ahead and log in real quick. One here, let me pause the video. But do me a quick solid. If you're still here, just type down in the comment section, I'm still here. So I know you're still kicking it with me and I just wanna remind you to hit the like button so we can get this video out to more people and help beat the YouTube algorithm, okay? So one of the things I like about this device right here is that the battery is really good. As you can see, I did get seven, uh, seven hours of screen on time and I still got 32% left out of the day and there's a it's almost um gonna go into the next day so the battery life on the pixel is really good and i haven't charged it i also think it holds up very well when it comes to the overall like uh functionality when it comes to gaming i like the fact that um if i did want to charge this device up while gaming i actually could do that so one of the things i wanted to show you real quick is that um, i'm gonna I actually have a battery pack right here so I could charge up the Pixel Fold um, while gaming. A lot of phones don't give you the ability to, um, because the most of the phone's chargers are right here, the Pixels is on the bottom so you can actually game very well when using this device um, with the controller because is basically it's it's the it's on the opposite side so you could basically use this thing with the controller a lot easier than you could with like a normal phone so when it comes to gaming you do get your do not disturb mode right here that i have turned on and your fr frames per second count counter and um you know you get um your option right here in this game I thought it was pretty cool in this game because if you go into controller settings and go all the way down, they do give you the um, console controller. You could just connect it to that with the Xbox mode on the BSP D8 or D9 or D3. And those are my favorite um, game. This is one of my favorite game controllers that has the grips on the um, triggers. So it has the tri trigger grips, it also has the grips on the joy pads and um, the buttons light up, which is also pretty cool. But let me show you the graphics on the Pixel Fold right now. I pressed the wrong button. Oh wait, it's not even connected right now. Hold up. All right, so here we go. So the Google Pixel Fold, like the graphics look really good on here. Um, so you can see right here, um, it's very, the, the frame rate looks really good. It's not showing the frame rate down below like it should, but you can see it connects to the controllers very nicely. So 
so like I'm I'm still getting used to the NBA 2K14. I mean two, NBA 2K14, NBA 2K24. Um, the uh, my player because this thing is just just recently recently dropped, and the touch controls are similar to like all the other 2K games, but you know it feels really advanced when it comes to the handles and everything like that. So I gotta get used to the shots too because um, it's really a team game when it comes to this game. It's it's like a team oriented game. Oh damn! He just blocked me. That's crazy. So th I, I could play this like you know you can see you can charge the pixel fold while you're playing NBA 2K or whatever game you decide to play, and um, that's gonna be a, a nice feature about the fold is that when it comes to gaming, it's optimized in that fashion, and that's a different that's different than most phones. Um, also the you know the Tensor 2, when you're gaming in this orientation, it just looks really nice. No, they're playing some good D. I can't even get a bucket up right now um, on these guys, which is crazy. Did he? He just threw the oop against me. So, yeah, I just wanted to wrap up this video. I just wanted to show you how well that the um, Google Pixel is performing after the Google Pixel um, announced the April fifth, um, two thousand and twenty-four update to it. So all you have to do is go into um, software setting, uh, soft system inside of software settings, and then you're going to get the update, which is going to be available and then you could use it. So I've been really enjoying this phone. It's actually, I go back and forth between the Z Fold 5 and this one, because this one has a very nice, um, experience no matter what you're doing. So when it comes to this device, I could definitely say that it's very, fun to use it's definitely wait what happened to my boy 60 years old that's crazy happy birthday my guy but yeah just wanted to show you guys that update on the google pixel fold if you're still here just type down below i'm still here so i know you're still kicking it with me and i just want to remind you to hit the like button so we can get this video out to more people and help beat the youtube algorithm i'll check you guys later peace later crew